Good morning, everyone. I'm Nikki Stanzione. And I'm Kristen Van Dyke. And this is New Mexico Style. And may I just say, it's Thursday morning, which means I can't go at least a, a couple seconds without making a comment about how amazing American Idol was oh, last how night. how was it? It was great. And you know, when Randy Jackson was on our show last week, he said who he thinks will be the top four. Mm -hmm. And I think there might be a modification to that because he mentioned the two boys, Josh and Phil Phillips, mm -hmm. and he said uh, he thinks it will be Jessica and Skylar. Well, I think last night Holly stepped it up big time. I was very surprised and I think Phil stepped it down, which mm. could change things around. But we will see. I think it should be the three girls and Josh if 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 all goes right in America voting last night. So, we'll find you're out tonight. You're usually pretty good and dead on with this. So, we'll yeah. see how. But I know you've been a fan of Phil's and and as have He's I, so but cute. he is cute, but he <laughs> brought his girlfriend last night, which I think might have also changed things. It might sway oh, the girl that vote. Oh, bad. I, it, right? well, I don't know. I still like him even if he has a girlfriend, but still yeah. some other girls might not be like so nope. happy about that. Oh, right? He's not single. I'm not voting for him. That's what I was thinking. I was like maybe that wasn't a good move as far as the votes go, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. And the, at least he was honest about it. Right. In the meantime, of course, it's May, and May is National Date Your Mate Month. Hmm. So if your relationship is in a rut, or even if it's not, this month is actually a really good time to break out of those old routines and try out a few new tricks. So, all right, date a mate month, as date opposed to any other month where you date other people? <laughs> 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 or you date outside your yeah, yeah, so, Okay, yeah. May, you stick to your mate. Stick to your mate this month if you yeah, can. Yeah. No cheating. Try, just try. Yeah, they could right. call it No Cheating Month. Or they could call it, yeah, Spice it, spice up the relationship you already have. Right. Month. So it is. You just want to spice <laughs> things up and show off your romantic side by planning a date night That's or a better yet, going the extra mile and planning a weekend getaway that mm. includes a few of your significant other's favorite things. Mm. Ideal date? Ideal yours? date? Oh gosh. You know, it just depends on the time of year. I think at Christmas time, the ideal date is things like going to, growing up, it would be like things like mm -hmm. going to Rockefeller Center or go see a show in New York and walk around and be cold. And in the summertime, it's, yeah, in the summertime, it's like going to the beach or going to the pool or you know right. I think I think really ultimately a good anybody that you're with if you're happy with that person and you have that connection any date's a good date. I mean, you could go to the living room mm -hmm. and watch a good movie with a bowl of popcorn and it could be a perfect date. So it, I think it really just depends on the relationship, don't you? Yeah. I, I require favorite? just a few things. I require okay. it's got to be a little bit of romance. Yeah, a little romance. A little bit of sure. adventure, a little bit of outdoors, mm -hmm. some good wine and good food. Good Coming wine and good food. I'm good for I that. I think it's a perfect date. That's a perfect date. Well, there you go. Yeah. Now you know what we like. So now let's find out what Miss Elizabeth Alvarez likes. Of course, let's check in with our KRQ News 13 anchor for this morning's headlines. How you feeling, Elizabeth? I'm good, Nikki. Mm -hmm. I know why you're asking. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, for those of you that don't know, I took a little bit of a tumble during our morning show. She tumbled fall, um, yeah. The good thing is that I'm fine. <laughs> Thank goodness. I know Kristen... Um, had a little giggle fit there, but I still I love you terrible. because you know what? To be honest with you, when someone just randomly for no reason trips right in front of you, of course yeah. you're gonna laugh. Well, right? you, you hear know. a big smack, and it's, and it's in a moment when you're supposed to say compose. Yeah, yeah. Those are the toughest ones, but I saw you're okay. So Thank goodness. Yeah, I'm Luckily, totally fine. Yeah. Okay, the only totally black fine. and blue on you guys is you're close. Today. <laughs> Nicely there done. you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally, I just embarrassed because it was so random. Like, oh. Heck? Well, as long as you're anyway. okay, that's all we care about. Anyway, so good morning, ladies. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning to you at home. Uh, we begin this morning with a pretty unfortunate story to tell you about. This one actually breaks my heart. A little boy right now is clinging to life at a hospital in Albuquerque this morning. His stepfather is sitting in jail, accused of almost killing him. Richard Gutierrez called 911 Tuesday night, saying that his five-year-old stepson was unconscious. Police say Gutierrez claimed the boy that had fallen off of his bed then apparently later admitted that he threw him against the dresser because the boy had wet his pants. Officials say he has severe brain damage and may not survive. Gutierrez is charged with child abuse resulting in death or serious bodily harm. A mother sitting in jail this morning after police say she used her one-year-old as a shield to get away with a shoplifting crime, if you'd believe it. APD says Nicole Valenzuela and another woman seen here, Michelle Gordon, swiped around $300 worth of makeup from the Target on Montgomery in the Heights. Well, look at the surveillance video. It shows the two women being confronted by security guards at the store. Police say Valenzuela swings her baby's car seat toward the guards with her baby still inside. Well, Valenzuela was uh, caught because when she took off, uh, you know, someone managed to tra track down her license plate number. So they did arrest Valenzuela and her accomplice, and both of them are now facing charges. 
Well, could some people in Albuquerque be helping themselves to some free gas that's being paid for with your money? I'm talking taxpayer money here. Right now, the city of Albuquerque is trying to figure out what is going on. An internal audit has found that almost 500 gallons worth of gas has been unaccounted for, for at, in at least one of several fueling stations that the city uses. Now, each city-owned vehicle has an assigned credit card, and each employee has an assigned PIN number. But the recent audit found that PIN numbers, who used to belong to people who no longer work for the city, are still being used. We don't know for sure if that's an issue where these employees came back and used that PIN number to get gas, or if it's someone else using the PIN number, sharing a PIN number with a, an employee that's still with the city. The city says part of the problem is just bad record keeping, but it says it is already taking steps to fix those issues. Listen to this, an Albuquerque woman whose dog goes missing gets a call from the person who finds it. The problem here, according to police, is that the person who found it apparently demanded a ransom. APD went to uh, uncover this. They actually went undercover in what they call an extortion case. It involves o Obi, the dog. That's the dog's name. Now, on Monday, police say that someone called the owner demanding $1,000 for the Yorkie Terrier's safe return. So the owner goes to meet the alleged extortionist while a police officer watched from afar. Uh, the whole thing was exchanged on camera through the officer's lapel video there, as you just saw. So now the district attorney's office will decide whether or not the woman who found the dog should be charged. Pretty incredible. Though. So if your kids um, come home today and say they, got a, they can get a cheap pair of van sneakers, be on the lookout because those sneakers might be stolen. Police say a trailer full of shoes was swiped from the Quality Inn near Eubank and I-40 on Monday. Inside were $10,000 worth of vans made especially for the All Nation Skate Jam this weekend. And here's something pretty eye-opening. A Colorado teen is safe this morning after she loses control of her car. The reason? Moths. Police say moths, known as Miller moths, like similar to the ones we're seeing right here in Albuquerque in New Mexico, distracted the 18-year-old girl, causing her to crash into a tree. So a nearby couple called police. They rushed over to the teen. They, they helped her out of the vehicle. Get this, seconds after they helped the teen out of the car, the vehicle exploded. So it was a total quick call for this girl. The teen is expected to be okay. But can you believe that? Those darn pesky moths. My goodness. That wraps it up for your Thursday morning headlines. Be sure to start your day with Matt Morrow, Kristen Van Dyke, and me every weekday morning beginning at 4.30 a.m. Ladies, sending it back to you. Thanks, Elizabeth. Wow. Whoa, that story. Miller yeah. moths? More like killer moths. Yeah. yeah. We've got one flying around here, too. Uh -huh, I just uh. saw it before. Yeah, I, I do not like the moths. They yeah. just creep me out. But, my God, thank goodness they got that girl out of the car. I know. What a That's shame. Freaky. Yeah, crazy story, but thank goodness timing was good. It's all in the timing, they say, right? That's right. Speaking of timing, just in time for Melanoma Awareness Month, this 44, oh my gosh, this 44-year-old New Jersey, great New Jersey figures, this uh -huh. mother was arrested after her five-year-old daughter sustained burns from a tanning booth. Oh my goodness. Now we all know Jersey girls like to tan. Yes, we do. But that is extreme, right? This is taking it way too far. Even Snooki would not approve of this. No. This mother is charged with second degree child endangerment, but she did make bail. She did make mm -hmm. bail. And oh, it's our cool. understanding that in Mexico, there's no age limit for tanning beds. Right, so that's right. That's kind of interesting. So if you know anything about that, let us know. But what in the world? This little girl, I've seen her, she's got she's fair skin, uh -huh, uh -huh. and they were saying that she came in and that she showed signs of a sunburn, and then when they asked her, she's like, oh, I got him tanning with mommy. Does she want to look like her mom? I mean... But she's only like six. That's just she wrong. Understand. And so the mom said, no, she's confused. She means oh like, God. you know, she's, so the mom's saying, no, that's not what happened. And there's some confusion. Now the kid's wow. saying, well, I don't know. So you give yeah, Jersey it's interesting, a but bad the bottom line name. is she's leather, leather lady. <laughs> leather lady. They're calling her on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Great. Well, <laughs> thanks, New Jersey. Thanks for giving New Jersey a bad name. Appreciate it. Great. Good to know. All right. A Tulsa, Oklahoma <laughs> woman or trainer is taking workouts to new heights. Literally, the mm. trainer hopes the workout will leave ladies feeling sexy and confident. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but here's in the their thing. heels. Yeah, look see, at that. I have heels like that. I love that. But beware, because the thing is, one false move, 
and you could end up out of the stiletto and into a cast. A Tulsa doctor actually says if you can stand on one leg in your stiletto with your eyes closed, this sounds like a sobriety I think test. You just did the bend and snap. Yeah, well, if you, oh, I love the bend and snap. <laughs> no, but if you can do this, you stand there with one leg, close your eyes, see if you can do it. If you don't fall over, you'll probably be okay to do the stiletto fitness training. Yeah, it was the bend and the snap. Bend, did you not see From the Legally bend Blonde. And snap. Yeah, we saw that. Remember we saw, we saw that, that show last year at Pope Joy? That was yes, fun. we did. But yeah, I love to, I love to wear heels, obviously. We mm -hmm. both do. But the thing is, I when I Actually, work I out, I don't love wearing Just on the show. Yeah. Just, yeah. But working out, no. Not so much. No. Not so much. It's okay. painful. Well, here's, here's an, a story, a little follow-up for you. Remember we talked about this last week, Meow, the obese feline from Santa Fe? Mm -hmm. Well, he's now posting his thoughts <laughs> on life and weight loss on the internet. Very smart cat. Right. This is after the fat cat traveled all around the country to be on national television. Right in. You can find Meow on Twitter. His name is 37 Pound Cat. That's right. He's lost two pounds. There you go. So he's doing well. More than I can say. <laughs> Good for you, Meow. Yeah, and he was, he actually, one of his latest tweets was about Jessica Simpson's baby and oh. said, You think nine pounds is fat? I'm four times that size. <laughs> oh my gosh. Poor, poor Jessica Simpson got, meow. had a tough time too, but she'll, she'll be good and so will Meow. All right. An ancient cultural site in northwest New Mexico is getting some national recognition. Mm -hmm. Aztec Ruins the National Monument is slated to play host to a National Geographic geotourism trail at the Four Corners in June. Yeah, geotourism is meant to help a site maintain its geographic character and heritage. And National Geographic launches the trail at the ruin site in Aztec on June second so coming up soon just exactly a month away now New Mexico you know we talk about the fact all the time that it's such a great place for movie making and it's now the backdrop mm -hmm. for another feature film the movie The Rambler starring Dermot Mulroney you may remember him from my best friend's wedding and the wedding date is filming in the southern part of the state Roswell Dexter and Hagerman are all getting into the action right the movie's about a man recently released from prison trying to reconnect with his long-lost brother of course the can't happen easily. <laughs> Never. He stumbles upon some strange mystery and um, then we'll have to find out what that is when we watch the movie. But the Rambler is using at least 60 locals to make the movie so you really like hearing that. We right? always love hearing that. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. I hope we can run into maybe, just maybe, we can try to get him on the show. That would be awesome. He was <laughs> Michael. Michael at my best friend's wedding. I've only seen that movie 65,000 times. Yeah. I loved that well, movie. We'll see what happens. Okay. The summer <laughs> movie season is going to sizzle starting this weekend with the release of The Avengers. <laughs> Of course, which is filmed right here in New Mexico. Yes, but the sci-fi flick isn't the only one guaranteed to pack the theaters. Fox's William Lejeunus explains. What I said. I think it's time. Already causing a global stir, the Avengers made an impressive $178 million overseas. It's expected to kick off the summer movie season in a big way when it opens this weekend in the U.S. This is nothing we were ever trained for. The kickoff movie this summer is all important. It sets the tone, it sets the pace, and to have the Avengers at the beginning of this summer is the perfect scenario. You have made me very desperate. Expect a lot of high-octane, special-effects-driven blockbusters to help pack theaters throughout the summer. It's about 18 weeks. It accounts for 40% of the total year box office. So the studios bring out their big guns at that time frame. Kids are out of school. People are off work. It's just a time when people get ready to go to the movies in a big way. Who are you? July 4th lights up with a new actor playing the web slinger in the story of The Amazing Spider-Man. Later that month, Christian Bale returns as Batman in the final installment of The Dark Knight Rises. I'm getting too old for this. Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones go back in time for Men in Black 3. Kristen Stewart and Charlize Theron star in the dark fairy tale makeover of Snow White and the Huntsman. And Ridley Scott directs the sci-fi thriller Prometheus. Get in. A revised version of Total Recall takes flight. Jeremy Renner takes over the Bourne legacy from Matt Damon, and the board game Battleship tries not to sink. World ain't saving itself. Dwayne Johnson takes over G.I. Joe Retaliation. Sly Stallone returns with a vengeance in The Expendables 2, and emancipating the land from bloodsuckers, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, comes to the rescue. I am going to light this place on fire. Direct from the Broadway stage, Tom Cruise rocks in Rock of Ages. Jordan Sparks and the late Whitney Houston star in Sparkle, and Katy Perry, Part of Me, goes behind the scenes on her latest tour. 
two animated hits return with sequels, Ice Age, Continental Drift, and Madagascar 3, Europe's Most Wanted, but both will have to fight off Pixar's Brave. I'm a vampire, madam. Yeah. Tim Burton directs Johnny Depp in Dark Shadows, while Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane voices Ted. Wella! Adam Sandler hopes to change his box office slump with That's My Boy. Cameron Diaz and Jennifer Lopez headline What to Expect When You're Expecting. Judy Dench heads to India in the Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. And Sasha Baron Cohen tries to make America uncomfortable in The Dictator. We are going to America. In Hollywood, William Lajeunesse, Fox News. Wow, movie overload. I want to see a lot of those. All of those. But I don't want to see anybody taking over from Matt Damon as, as a born. He's, it's, no. all, it's a Matt Damon role. Anyway, okay, another question off topic. Do you yes. doodle? You like to doodle? Uh, sometimes. I'm definitely a doodler. Doodler? Yeah. Nothing significant, though. Yeah, well, it never really is. But one Albuquerque seventh grader is an award-winning doodler and needs New Mexico-style viewers to help her win a national competition. Merritt Barnwell attends Albuquerque Academy and is one of five finalists for the Doodle for Google competition. I love that. Doodle for Google. This year's theme is, if I could travel in time, I'd visit... dot, 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 you fill in the blanks, and Merritt would visit an ancient Pueblo. Right, and she says she is still in disbelief that she's been chosen. At first I really didn't believe it. I thought my parents were joking because I just didn't think I had a chance. I don't know. Um, it was just an amazing feeling that I get to go to New York. Uh, that is more than just a doodle. That's yeah. incredible. Make sure no you vote doubt. for her. You can vote for her until 6 p.m. this evening. Just go to her website, krqe.com. That is so awesome. Good for her. Who would think that doodling could get you a trip to Big Apple? <laughs> and how cool would it be to see that on Google? You know how every day they have those images. Yeah. So it would be really neat to see I that. I love that story. And you know, speaking of great kids who are doing great mm -hmm. things, Vans, the original action sports footwear company, invites high schools from across the United States to compete in a shoe customization contest that awards the winning school a $50,000 prize towards its art program. Right, and Rio Rancho High School is the only school in the state of New Mexico to qualify for this year's Vans Custom custom culture contest and they need New Mexico style viewers to vote for them as well. Take a look at their handiwork. So Beautiful. great. And they were here the other day. We got to meet them, some of the kids, and they are such great inspirations. Really, really uh, amazing young entrepreneurs. And right. today is the last day to vote, guys. So the information's on your screen. We will have it on our website, casa.com. Every vote counts because last year they came really close. They only lost by 61 votes, which is right. like nothing, right? Out of like thousands of votes, mm -hmm. that's nothing. Exactly. So make sure you vote for them. Yeah, it really goes to prove every vote counts. So for the Vans contest, you want to vote at casa.com. For the contest for the doodling, you want to go to krqe.com. Correct. Just to clarify All that. All your bases are covered. Then. All the bases are covered, <laughs> including your weather for the day. Because as as Kristen's been saying, it's really summer like this week, and it, it continues, is. right? It is. It's going to stick around. We're going to see more warm weather today, less wind Yay. than what we saw yesterday. Even though it hasn't really been too breezy here mm. in the metro area, out east, it has been really windy, and the fire danger has been so high.